Hey guys, Jeff here with Corsair. Earlier this year, we announced the Graphite Series 380T Mini ITX case. It's our second Mini ITX case. We've got it right here in yellow. It's also available in black and white. Uh, we're going to do a build log today and show you just how easy it is to fit all of this high-end hardware in this small package. So we'll start off by getting the power supply installed. We've got an AX860i modular power supply here, and I've already plugged in all the cables outside the case. Just makes it easier than doing it after you get it installed. So before we go ahead and get the power supply installed, we'll strip down all the components off the case just to make it easier to work with. So on the back, you can see that there is a power supply bracket that we'll need to attach to our power supply to get it installed. You can attach the power supply bracket using the screws that came with your power supply. So I'll feed the cables through the case and fish them out the sides so we have plenty of room to mount the power supply. And with this case, it's a good idea to install the power supply with the fan facing down. You've got the uh, dust filter right down below. And we can lock in the power supply using the thumb screws that came with the case. Next, we'll get the motherboard ready for installation. And first step there is make sure you get your rear I.O. shield plugged in. Next, we'll install the CPU while it's outside of the case, and we'll also get the back plate for our CPU cooler installed. So just find the yellow arrow on the corner, match it up with the arrow that we see on the plastic piece here. That way you know the orientation. And CPU will just drop right in. Now we'll get our back plate installed. Now that the motherboard's prepared, we're ready to get it installed. Now that the motherboard's installed, we'll get the power connectors plugged in. So we got the 24 pin connector here. And our eight pin. And we'll clean up the cables when we're all finished. I've already plugged in the front I.O. switches for the power and reset and LEDs. Now I just need to plug in the HD audio and the front USB 3.0. So now everything from our front panel is plugged in and ready to go except for our three-speed fan controller. We're going to use that to power our front intake fan as well as our rear exhaust fan. So we just need to get those fans plugged in and powered. The fan controller is powered by a standard 4-pin Molex connector. And the fan headers themselves support either 3 or 4-pin fans. So next up, I'm going to get the H100i liquid CPU cooler installed. I'm going to set up the fans for exhaust so I can actually install the fans on the radiator before we mount the unit in the case. All right, let's get this installed in the case. I'll attach the magnetic bracket for the head unit and you'll notice that the thermal interface material has already been pre-applied to the bottom of the unit. Just slide it into place and attach it using the provided thumb screws. The SSD slot is tool free, so we just plug it in and slide it into place. We'll plug in our data cable. We've got just enough room in there to slide in our 16 gigabytes of Dominator Platinum memory. So now we're down to our last component, our GTX 780. 
Now before we get this installed, we'll need to remove a thumb screw on the rear of the case, which holds the PCIe placeholders there. So just remove that, lift up the lever, and these come right out. And it pops right in. We'll lock the card into place. And finally, we're ready to power the card. So now I'll just reassemble the filters and side panels and we'll start it up. We finished our build in our Graphite Series 380T. It's a very small, compact, but powerful system that's perfect for LAN parties or as your own dedicated rig at home. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, here's how to reach us. All right, so uh, I'm just going to take this home for some testing.